I'm Dr. Shelby Harris, and this is Awake at the Wheel. Today, I'd like to show you some ways to prevent drowsy driving. Now that you recognize how dangerous it is to drive while drowsy, what are some good methods to avoid doing so? The first and most obvious rule is to make sure you get enough restful sleep. That's generally seven to nine hours for most people. Before you get in the car, make a self-assessment. Be aware of when you might be potentially too tired to drive. This is the most important decision you can make. You should think about it like drinking. Remember, driving drowsy is as dangerous or worse. You shouldn't take it any more casually than you would if you were drunk. So treat drowsiness as a serious impairment. Aside from getting enough sleep, you can avoid drowsiness by not driving between midnight and 6 a.m. and not taking medicines that make you sleepy before driving. So what are the signs of fatigue? How do you know you may be too tired to drive safely? Signs may include wandering thoughts, daydreaming, yawning, mm. difficulty keeping your mm. eyes open, drifting out of your lane, slowed reaction time, decreased alertness, nodding off, and unregulated emotions. Sometimes, though, it may not be that obvious that you're too tired to drive. So yeah, that happens. When I feel perfectly fine before driving, then become tired later. Yes, sometimes drowsiness sneaks up on you. And when that happens, the best thing to do is to find a safe place and pull over and take a quick nap. What can sometimes help is taking what I like to call a coffee nap. Stop to get a cup of coffee, drink it, and then take a quick 20 minute nap. Usually by the time you wake, the coffee will have taken effect to keep you going so you can get to your destination safely. I don't recommend using caffeine on a regular basis to combat ongoing fatigue or drowsiness, nor do I recommend frequent use of energy drinks that are packed with high doses of caffeine and sugar. These drinks are no substitute for regular, restful sleep, and they can leave you feeling more tired and wired out in the end. If you must drive for many hours at a stretch, make a point to take a 15-minute break at least once every two hours. Remember, getting there safely is better than never arriving. Ultimately, you should be making sure that you do your best to stay well rested and get enough sleep. This will be good for your overall health on top of making sure you stay awake at the wheel. I hope that this series has shown you the dangers of driving while drowsy and that you now know and are ready to employ safe methods to stay awake at the wheel. I'm Dr. Shelby Harris. Thanks for watching.